what's up, y'all? Duke CBT here. Um, then y'all know, uh, <clears throat> Ryan Dallison has now signed a contract, I've heard, that he signed a contract to go to uh, the WWE. You know, I think it's a good form. I, I think it is. It's good. Very good for him. Brian Dallison, I mean, as much as he does me one, I see some of his work, he's very good. And and in one part, you like, it sucks for him. And I, I do see the point that he is, if Ring of Honor wants to be a legitimate competition, it is a it is a blow. It, well, he is one of your pillars. Let's be honest. Ring of Honor, I mean, when you think Ring of Honor, most fans think, well, you think, say, Samoa Joe, you think Dale, you think, no, you think, Danielson, you think Brian Danielson, you think Nigel McGuinness, you think um, Austin Aries, you think all these guys, and when, um, when, when you lose that, it hurts. It's a, he's a pillar. He's one of the people you need, yeah, that helped brought you to here. He brought you to this point. And it seems that it's um, really a shame that, um, you know, that they couldn't really keep him or, you know, use him in that place. But, he pretty much done whatever he needed to do. It was, I think, Ring of Honor. As much as people love Ring of Honor, it's still not even close to say uh, TNA standards or no, no, not TNA, but yet yeah, TNA. What TNA is, or you know, WWE are, are. But you know, I don't think they're. I think they're trying to be that way, but you know, um, I don't see it happening. Um, what else? Um, oh. And one of the things I hear about Brian Dennis is, oh, I want to be booked as CM Punk. Like, ah, CM Punk. If he's booked like CM Punk, that'd be great. I'm, well, I'm going to say that I don't think that's the best way around for him. See, CM Punk has been booked as guy, his style, but no substance. And I'm going to tell you why in a second. You see, when he won the World Heavyweight title the first time, Money in the Bank said, well, that, it took some balls by someone. And, you know, and... When he held that belt longer, it felt like they just completely lost their balls. The guy who had that so they lost his balls, kept directly losing more of his, you know, manhood, if you say, if you could. And, um, you know, as you say, lost more of his manhood. <laughs> as the weeks and weeks go on. I mean, the first preview title match he had, he was made to be uh, weak. I mean, completely, utterly dominated by Batista. And King came out. To just save him, and I mean, remember that part. You know, him getting power bombed. Boom, one, two, power bombed, and just hold the title like this, Ugh. like a complete nobody, just complete clueless. And only time he got a chance to win or actually look good was guy was JBL, uh, and then he, you know, we all know the stories after that. He did, you know, lose the championship. Goes into the kind of title, and this, that, and the other. Still got some time. But let's skip forward this. Now he's the champion now again. And I think they're following the same, it's, it's the same temp, template. I mean, he gets some wins, um, he, he gets some victories. Um, you know, championship victories when he's champ, you know. He, he beats Edge. A Hardy and that triple threat match. Um, he gets himself DQ'd um, against Jeff Hardy um, at the bash. Loses the bout to Jeff Hardy. No, no, on the road to losing the bout to Jeff Hardy and Nano Champions, he loses to the great Kali and John Morrison. Twice, in fact, to John Morrison. Uh, then he loses the bout to Jeff Hardy. Then um, he finally, after that, he loses to the, loses the rematch against Jeff Hardy. Uh, beats John Morrison finally. Um, what else? Oh, and um, loses the uh, loses to Matt, got pinned by Matt Hardy in a six man tag. And then he wins back the world title at TLC, and then gets flattened by the Undertaker. Really? Is this is a world champion? 
Does this look like a world champion to you? Is he even being treated as such? Now, why is this burning down some people saying, well, he should be booked like that? I don't want him to be booked like that. So on no substance, no um, well-being, no a guy who held uh, he, a guy who pretty much held it, keeping the championship warm for a person instead of having substance, like say I know a Randy Orton type of hell, Randy Orton's title reign as bitchy and sucky and bad that is, it's ten times better than CM Punk's championship reigns. At least he held, he at least he holds it for like a, more than a month. He's right up there with Edge, with just winning a championship and not he uh, not holding it though, not as, that, and, and using shenanigans and stuff. You know, not really. You know, no substance. That's just something I don't want to see from Danielson. I want to see him hopefully hold a championship and actually use it, use his belt. You know, use not use it, but use um, you know when he does championship, hopefully the book with substance. You know, but what and use the build up his. Um, and use like say uh, I hope he's booked to say like John Morrison at this point. I would love Dallas to be booked like John Morrison. I want to be him be booked like Dolph Ziggler. I would love to him to be booked like uh, Kofi Kingston or you know or the the March no no like the Jerry and March of how Randy Orton was booked that uh, properly. You know I like to see him booked like that instead of a guy who can book great matches but looks like a complete and utter fool. Um, you know, it is like, you know, losing, like, getting a championship belt and looking like a complete idiot, um, losing, like, three matches in a row and then losing the title. I mean, that, to me, is not success. Success is substance. And CM Punk doesn't have any. And I'm hoping when Brian Danielson makes it to that level and makes it WWE, makes the main roster, he, I hope he has substance, not style and flash. Anyway, this Dixie T here. Peace and love. I will see you when I see y'all. One. Oh, check out my uh, radio show um, when it comes out. The link's going to be in the description. Peace and love. Peace. One.